This is a lie. Number one, there are far too many twos in it. Number two, it's Don to two, so you know Kanye's gonna find a way to screw this up. The numbering on this is perfect. It's it's February twenty second, uh, the t the twenty second year of the of the year, uh, the twenty 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 two, and you know he's gonna screw this up. There's no way he's keeping to this date. So you're probably wondering, well, if you know it's a lie, why are you still covering it? Because I have Stockholm syndrome, okay, and I still want to believe at the end of the day that Kanye wouldn't just out of the blue come out with another album that is the uh, sequel to a really good album that he dropped last year. Give us a date and then completely lie. Uh, the cover art looks like there's a house burning on the billboard here. I, I don't know if there's some symbolic meaning, like maybe I'm burning my past. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, the most interesting part about all of this, though, is that it is executive produced by Future. And I don't know why that makes me really happy. I have nothing to, to, to kind of uh, validate those positive thoughts and emotions that I uh, feel when I see executive produced by Future. I just have the Future's one of the greatest rappers of our generation. And when you pair that with one of the greatest artists in the last two decades, could they really go wrong? I would just like to believe that the emotional connection that he had to Donda would cause him to have a bit more motivation to put this record out on time since it is a sequel project. That being said, I don't know how much more he could say about how he feels about his mother on the second record. I don't know how many tracks this would have. I would imagine it would have a similar vibe to the first one, but I honestly wouldn't want it to be that similar. I don't know what to believe. I don't. My heart is telling me that he wouldn't do this. My heart is telling me that this is a good idea, announcing it only a month out. My heart's telling me that that's a good idea. But as someone who's already been abandoned by one parent, I know how this goes. In reality, this is just going to be all of Kanye West fans in this house watching it burn when he ultimately doesn't release on this date. But this is the perfect time for him to drop. All the success of Donda, you're not that far out from its release. You've had a great marketing run. Well, not, not, not so great. I heard people love the first installment of his uh, documentary. I mean, for it to drop maybe a week after the fullness of your documentary comes out would be perfect. But this is Kanye West. You know, I would love to get uh, uh, No Child Left Behind 2 with a full Kanye verse. I would love to hear Vori all over some new instrumentals. I would love to hear Future contribute. And you know what would be crazy? Maybe he'd have Drake on it. You know, Jay Prince might be able to force him in there, hold him at finger point, you know what I'm saying? And like I said before, based off of what Donda, the first installment, uh, represents uh, who it's about, talks of Kanye's faith, uh, his emotional roller coasters throughout the years, and kind of coming back to a place of uh, serenity and confidence within oneself. Having a record post Donda that is in any way related to the, the original, you would think that he's, you know, no bullshit, no playing around, this is serious, I, I, I can't joke around with this one or uh, leave it up to how I feel the same way I have my previous records that I have announced and didn't drop didn't release, completely forgot about, or moved on to, to, to new projects entirely. Not that I'm waiting, but I remember that collab project with Chance the Rapper that was supposed to come out. We still got people waiting on Kiss, he goes too. Yandi is a thing of the past. The likelihood of Future even knowing that he's involved in this project is, is probably low, which would mean that the album has in no way, shape, or form even been worked on. That is a 100% possibility when you are referencing Kanye West. And I'm pretty forgetful when it comes to album rollouts, but I remember when late registration came out and i believe that was supposed to come out sometime in the summer early summer of 2005 and that didn't come out until late summer almost end of summer nowhere near as egregious but still a delay my beautiful dark twisted fantasy as great of an album as that was i'm pretty sure that was supposed to drop in late summer didn't end up coming out until fucking winter yandi never dropped or 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 converted religions into Jesus is king so maybe Yandi did come out it's just under the guise of a totally different a totally different name and I remember when Donda first got announced it was it was announced I don't even think it was announced as Donda back when it first got released it had that little thermal cover art that looked beautiful um it looked it looked pretty spiritual you know if I if I can if I can add that Donda was supposed to drop last year bro Last year, 2020, Donda was supposed to drop in 2020, in July. We didn't end up getting it until August. Kanye is such an asshole that the tweet is still up. He never deleted it. The nerve. Then completely overlooking the fact that he said that it was going to drop at the end of July, 2020, he comes out months later with tweets 
uh, basically giving snippets of the album like he didn't tell us it was supposed to come out months ago. He got on stage crying during his political run. I'm like, nigga, take that shit to the studio. I'm not voting for you. Then he started telling us that the album was going to come out july 2021 we got listening parties after listening parties after listening parties eventually delaying it from july 2021 to august 2021 and we finally ended up getting it sometime in august i don't even remember the date that it came out that's how crazy it is i say all this to say that kanye west has never had an on-time album ever in his entire career why he would expect me to just or, or people, his fans in general, why some of his fans, or maybe even Kanye himself, thinks that we take release dates announced from him seriously at this point is insane. Now, the, the, the more I think about it, the more I talk about it in my brain, the, the less and less it makes sense. Donna came out not even a year ago, and you think that I trust you to make an album that is the sequel to a record that has been your most thoughtful in concept since the life of pablo and expect you to realistically take on the same conceptual responsibilities that you have for donda paste it onto an entirely different record that you're announcing is going to come out in a month with no promo no feature list no track list no snippets I don't believe you. Kanye is the boy who cried album, and I don't want to hear it no more. I mean, of course, I want to hear it, but don't tell me when it's coming out. Just, just drop. Just drop. Because I don't, I, I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. I try, I try to believe him. I try to sit back. I, I, his protégés don't even keep to their release dates. Travis Scott and, and Kid Cudi. Remember, remember the Scots? Remember that album was supposed to come out? A few weeks after that single they dropped? Where is that? They're the same. They're all the same. Artists are liars. And I don't believe them no more. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. This video is just therapeutic for me. You don't even have to watch it. It's just, it's just me convincing myself to not believe what I just saw. Another reason why this might actually be true is Pusha T is announcing that he's dropping music soon. And the last time Pusha T dropped was almost four years ago. Yes, Daytona is almost a four year old album. This could potentially be why we got that weird little video of him and Madonna and Antonio Brown and Floyd Mayweather and, and Julia Fox. Like maybe that's why. And lastly, I don't really know if I need a continuation of the Donda series. I think Kanye said so much and that record was packed full of so much of his perspective on various different topics. And I don't really even know if Kanye has it in him to top what was on Life of the Party. I mean, Life of the Party is an incredible incredible record donda was like a, a plate that had the portion size fit for a giant i mean there was a lot of content on that album and then the deluxe came out not long after with i think an, an additional three to five songs what could donda 2 possibly add that donda 1 didn't necessarily cover so either kanye is going to change the name which if he does change the name i am 100 percent confirmed that this uh, this album is not coming out on this date imagine if donda just ends up being another black blank cover art with a two on top of it i don't think i could take cover art like that so if you ask me is donda 2 coming out on this date yes but if you ask me again if donda is coming out on this date no i might believe him a little bit if we heard if we heard a little music maybe a few snippets being released with this but just an announcement bro i don't trust you i don't trust your team I don't trust Future. Future told me in his music not to trust him. I have nothing to chew on. I, we just have to wait and wait and wait and wait. And if this date comes and Donda 2 doesn't, I'm blocking Kanye West. You heard it here first. Will he care? Probably not, but I'm still doing it.